I remember walking around this park in June of 2015, the night that the Supreme Court had ruled on gay marriage. There was talk about taking the Confederate flag down from the South Carolina State Capitol. Obamacare had been held up that week, like all of it. I remember calling my friends from the Obama White House and being really excited, and then thinking, a lot of people in America that when they see the Confederate flag come down, when they see gay marriage being held up, feel like this isn't their country anymore. Yeah. A lot of people viewed the election of Barack Obama as a moment of great progress, and it was. But any student of history would have known his election was likely to trigger an immense backlash and it did. Started with the Tea Party, but culminated with the election uh, of Donald Trump and ending with violent consequences during the insurrection on January 6th. You were an impeachment manager for the first impeachment of Donald Trump. He's likely to be acquitted again. Does that send a message that he has not been repudiated? The trial is important hopefully to bring about accountability in the way that the framers envision. The fact that so many Senate Republicans are willing to look past the evidence to vote to acquit is sad and shameful. And while they may not be held accountable by Republican voters in the short term, they will be held accountable through the lens of history. Do you feel that coming out of this, we are on the cusp of revitalization of democracy. It's the classic clash between progress and backlash. Every time we've made progress in America, we've confronted backlash and emerged from that backlash to continue to make more progress. And so I'm hopeful. The framers of the Constitution were not perfect. They didn't promise a perfect country but they did promise a journey toward a more perfect union. And that's what we've been on. And I'm confident that that will continue.